Well, once you've done that, then there is another concept, schema in data modeling. And what is the best schema that you should use with Microsoft Power BI? Basically, there are two kinds of schemas, star schema and a snowflake schema. There's also constellation schema where you have multiple factables, but we are not going to talk about that. So in database, what is a schema? A schema is basically going to define that how the data you are going to organize within your relational database. This is inclusive of logic, logical constraints such as table, names, fields, relationships, etc. So when we are going to put a fact table in between them and all around it, the dimension tables, it's a star schema. In addition to this one, if you have multiple tables connected to your dimension table, that becomes your snowflake schema. And let me show you how. Over here, we are going to see the difference between these two. You can see that in between you have this fact table and all around are the dimension tables. So this is going to be your star schema. And always try to use the star schema as a best practice if you really want to improve the performance of your Power BI reports. And why is that? The reason is that Power BI data engine has been designed in a way that it works best with the star schema, not with the snowflake schema. And as I mentioned, snowflake schema is that one when you have addition table to the dimension table, like this table is being connected over here too. So that is your snowflake schema. And also on the top, you can see that this dimension table has two more dimension table. So this is called your snowflake schema. And as I mentioned, there's another kind of database schema as well, which we call it the constellation schema, which means you have multiple fact tables and those fact tables are going to be connected through a dimension table. However, if we limit our discussion to Microsoft Power BI itself, please always follow star schema, which is this one. You have to have your dimension tables connected to one fact table. All right. So this was the part first where I defined everything. Now we are going to head over back to our Power BI report where I'm going to talk about that model view and how we can create, delete relationships over there or how we can maintain them. So I'm going to see you in the next video. Till then, if you have any more questions or concerns, please post in the Q&A section.